Welcome to the Never Been Promoted Podcast with Thomas Helfrick. Get ready for a thrilling adventure as we uncover entrepreneurial journeys and life-changing business insights every week. And now your host, Thomas. In today's episode of Never Been Promoted, we're going to discuss the idea that you need to let them go. You're going to have to let go of people in your lives uh, as you make your journey. And it's not a requirement. It's just probably going to happen. And I appreciate everybody who's listening right now and appreciates the fact that they probably have let people go in their journey or they know they need to. And the reason this is important is because as you progress in your journey, as you get into this entrepreneurial world, your world is going to change. How people perceive you will change. Your needs as a friend, as business associates, people you're going to have to network with is all going to change. So be prepared that there are people in your life that are just not going to fit. And in my own personal journey, I know that as I've transitioned from this corporate world to the entrepreneurial world, some friends groups just didn't make sense. And it wasn't because they were bad people or because they weren't entertaining or fun. They just didn't align to how I needed to be and who I needed to connect with and be around. They didn't get kind of what I did and I didn't fit in their mold and it kind of became distant. And then also in your life, you know, and I have fortunately not have this problem, <laughs> not yet, uh, but I do hope I, and I don't, is that sometimes people in your lives, like very close ones, you know, spouses or even just, you know, people you're related to, you may have to push out. You may have to let go because they may not be aligned to how you need to be in your life. And that's one of the hardest parts of entrepreneurship is knowing that you're going to have to evolve. You're going to have to adapt and you're going to have to be okay with letting go with people that are very key in your life. Now you'll have to bring new people in. So the idea that, you know, you know, you burn a forest, right? And the new trees grow, you have to get out there and you'll have to make some new acquaintances, new professional connects, new friends, even new people you might you know, love in your life. And if, if that happens, do it in the context of does it serve where you're going and who you are and who you want to become. It's one of the hardest steps in entrepreneurship is letting people go. It's one of the hardest steps in life, but it, entrepreneurial paths and the entrepreneurial spirit of what you're doing is going to trigger this. And it's going to trigger that you're going to have to embrace that you're going to meet new people. Now, you know, you know, I, I think of uh, a quote from Pearl Jam, my favorite band, right? Eddie Vedder wrote the song called uh, Thumbing My Way. And the quote is, no matter how cold the winter, there's a springtime ahead. So no, no matter how low you are on, you know, the people that you're meeting in your lives or the shifts that you're going to be making, but you might need to switch. Maybe you're going to uh, know that that coldness is going to be the catalyst to bring new life, new energy, new things into your world. And it will. You know, a few strategies I would certainly keep in, in mind as you, as you think through this and, and you navigate this is that you're going to have to challenge the norms of what you know. You're going to have to do something different and you're going to have to challenge the way it's always been in your life because you're going to be into a new world of entrepreneurship. You're going to be your own boss. You're going to be leading teams. This is different than a corporate job. You're going to have different expectations in your life. Your, uh, likely your financials are going to be impacted initially. And the whole world you'll know will change, but uh, definitely be up for challenging the norms and getting out of your comfort zone. You definitely want to trust your instincts is another thing you're from a kind of a strategy to think about. You want to listen to your intuition of who's good for you, who's not, and be prepared to make hard decisions. Stay authentic to yourself. Uh, you're, you know, you being different is better. Your uniqueness is a massive asset for you and make sure you kind of preserve that and keep you intact while you navigate a change. Definitely value loyalty. So in, you know, your friends, your customers, your loved ones, if people are loyal to you and they're good for you, they're probably good people in your life to have in the future. So keep them and nourish those relationships as well. And, and like, I think I've said this before a little bit, but you've got to embrace change. You have to be okay to be adaptability. You want to make sure you're making it work into your favor and do it at not the expense of people that should be in your lives, but do it at the benefit of those around you. So embrace that change, bring it in. Uh, you just want to cherish those moments. You, you should recognize the chapters in your lives as they've come and they go and they, and they close and they open. Opening that new chapter that makes 
the world a whole new world for you and opens a whole new set of opportunities is super important because it's going to be where you're going to go. Be ready to let it go. Be ready to let them go and be prepared to open new worlds for yourself and new contacts and a new life. Thanks again for listening to the Never Been Promoted podcast. I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Thanks for listening to Never Been Promoted with Thomas Helfrich. Make sure to check the show notes for our guest contact information and any relevant links. Connect with Thomas personally at neverbeenpromoted.com.